Welcome to Diva's Paradise, a wonderful world of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I'm your host, Diva, and today's episode, we are going to talk about some of my favorite reds and other reds that will be suitable for women of color. After doing the 50s pinup style makeup, I've had a lot of people contacting me, asking me, you know, I don't think I can wear a red. Can you please suggest a red? I think there's a red out there for everyone. Now, what happens to be on my lip? Normally, with the uh, like with the nude video, I was always trying the nude shade on. This is like my favorite red lipstick. It is discontinued, so I value it very much. Therefore, I will not be wiping off this red lipstick off of my lip. But I do love it. It is by Alchemy. The color is called, of all names, Devil's Cloth. This is what it looks like. I love it. It has the perfect amount of blue mixed into that red. It complements my skin tone, especially me being a person that has very full lips. Like my hat? I tell you, I really like the era of the 40s and the 50s. This is my era. I'm into vintage. This is just one of the hats in my collection. Anyway, let's keep it moving. So you've seen what the uh, Devil's Claw looks like. Luckily for me, there is a company called 3 Custom Color that they do color matching. So if you have discontinued lipsticks or makeup items that you like to have made over, it's kind of pricey, but if you really love them, you can have them do it. I think their website is 3customcolor.com. You might want to Google them. But let's get right into the video because I don't want to go over too long. Um, so, aside from Devil's Claw being my very favorite red. The next red I had in line, I was trying to find the two, but I can't, is a color from NARS. I'm just going to use a Q-tip because I actually have it in my palette here. It is a nice deep blue red, and I'm going to put that right here. I don't know if you can see that. might have to zoom in. might have to zoom in a little. Scarlet Empress by NARS. I love that shade. Perfect. It's a nice blue red. It's a little deeper than this one, but it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That is by NARS. Okay, Scarlet Empress. Then everyone knows about my newest love, which happens to be the Moulin Rouge from Makeup Forever. You saw it in the pinup video. I'll make a little swatch starting at the bottom. You can see that's a very bright red that's right here. Okay. Another beautiful shade. Uh, actually, if you wanted to do low end, the L'Oreal color in Driven, I love that. It is a nice deep red, but unfortunately, I could not find that tube. I think it's in one of my many makeup bags. But let me tell you about some others from L'Oreal that's quite nice. This L'Oreal is number 358. It's called Bold. I'll show you what that looks like. Here's it in the tube. And then. That's this right here. It has a little bit more orange. It's on this side here. Another L'Oreal shade <clears throat> that I can introduce you to is this one. It's called Saucy Sangria. It's number 730. I'm going to see where can I put that. I'll put that on this side. Oh, very creamy. Very creamy. That is this color right here. Okay, so um, another <clears throat> drugstore brand that you could probably get, or when you get at a drugstore, is Milani. This one is called Deep Love. It's number 33. This is what it looks like. I'm going to swatch it right. That's this one. Okay. Oh, Gavin. <laughs> okay, um, then... Oh, see, oh, 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 pain in my shoulder, I'm sorry. Ah, 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 oh, pain in my shoulder, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I swear, I'm still having after effects from the car wreck. I have not gone back to work yet, and there is like a pain just going down. Oh, my Lord, like a needless poking me. <laughs> this is not funny, my kids are laughing. Anyway, OCC lip tar. Oh my. Just so you can see my lip shade up close, it's Alchemy Devil's Claw. Okay, we're back. I am totally, totally, totally sorry, sorry about that. That just 
came out of nowhere. I find it very strange. And literally, it you know was getting to the point of being tearful. Anyway, let me hurry up and wrap this up before it decides to return. OCC Lip Tar. This is in NSFW, which is not suitable for work. I remember that. Um, just a very little is all you need. It'll dry down to a satiny finish. Okay, that is... That is... Whoops. That is this one right here. Hope you can see that. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, and then let's keep moving on with the swiping. Sleek Makeup. Remember I told you get this at sleekmakeup.com. This is Cherry. Okay, you see it's a deeper red. Like I said, there's a shade of red for everybody. That is this one right here. Can you see that? Oh, this one right here at the very top. I love that shade. Beautiful, sleek makeup. Um, let's just finish up with the Makeup Forever. I have four more Makeup Forever lipsticks to show you. This is number 45. I'm going to put that right here. That's number 45. You have so many options, guys. So many options. This is number 21. It's kind of more of an orangey red, and it does have a bit of shimmer in it. I'm going to show you what that looks like. That's This is like a frosty red. Perfect on the right complexion. And I have number 48. That is a deeper red. For those of you who are very nervous about trying a red, it's a deep, deep red. Alright? Beautiful. Another Makeup Forever lipstick would be number 42. This is kind of more of an orangey type of a red. I personally like blue-based reds as opposed to orange-based reds. That's this one right here. That's beautiful as well. I think Makeup Forever has a beautiful collection with the um, Rouge Artist Intense. You can probably check your Sephora for it, or you can go to the Makeup Forever store. And then last but not least, the other lipstick that I do like is from Illamasqua. This is called Box. It's named for the artistic creator of Illamasqua <laughs> makeup line. This is a universal red for everybody as well. It's an orangey red, and surprisingly, I actually like it. I'm going to show you what that is. That's this one right here. Surprisingly, I actually like it. It looks good on everybody. And pretty much that concludes that. Oh, I can tell you about a gloss that I used to love to wear. It's actually a NYX gloss. It says LG133. There's no name on it. There was a name, but I'm sure... Oh, wait a minute. Burgundy. This was a nice red that I wear, you know, I throw in my bag anytime I was lazy. I wanted to feel like I was done, even if I didn't have nothing else on my face. Just so you can see what this looks like. Oops. This is the shade right here. I don't know if you're getting glare from the shine. Is it okay? Perfect. So anyway, I hope you enjoy Diva's Picks of Reds. And um, these are just a few of my favorites, but I'd like to tell you my alchemy. Devil's Claw, woo, I love it. But unfortunately, it's discontinued. So I want to thank you so much for watching. This is once again is a 50s inspired look. And it was just a follow-up to give you some ideas of red lipsticks that you might want to try that may be suitable for your collection. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Take care. Until the next time. Bye.